so we had seen that the electromagnetic waves are are <coughs> something like this and we had taken up a case where where my electric field was was directed in this direction right and and my magnetic field was directed in the in like this this is z right this is my e vector this is my e vector and this is my v vector at all times they are perpendicular to each other so so this is in in fact in xz plane right this is in xz plane This is an XZ plane and and correct. So it is something like this, fine. This is in YZ plane and we had said that the, the direction of propagation is, the direction of propagation is, is what? It is the, the wave travels in the direction of E cross B, correct. We had also said that E, okay, the vector E, E, or, or, or now that I know that it is a vector, this is how it is represented, E x, E is directed along either the positive or the negative direction of x axis, E naught sine, how is it distributed, how is it distributed with respect to z you know as z changes so so kz and we had said that sin kz is a stationary sinusoidal wave so to give it a push that means to keep it moving we had done this correct similarly b which is directed along y axis can be given by b naught sin kz minus omega t okay Okay, now let us let us try to analyze the nature of this kind of a wave. So this is a this is what this is a sinusoidal 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 wave which moves 
in the positive direction of z axis so this is also called a traveling wave okay so so i can say it is a sinusoidal traveling wave the wave travels in the positive direction of z axis okay now so i i'll i'll pick any one of it so say i i take the e and look at its nature in detail okay so i have my e as something like this right this is my z this is my x axis this is my y axis along which i have not drawn the magnetic the magnetic field okay now let us try to understand this wave first this is represented by what this is represented by e x is equal to e not sin k x minus omega t correct now there is a thing called wavelength and there is a thing called frequency okay fine what is the wavelength that is the distance after which the wave repeats itself correct that is the distance after which the wave repeats itself fine okay do we understand that now to understand that nature see here this has got two variables right so this is kz i am very sorry this is kz it has two variables the z is variable and t is variable correct both the time and the and the space they are changing right so so what happens this is dependent on two variables i can change z i can change t also now let us try to analyze what is happening here let us say let us say i freeze it at t equal to 0 understand and what do you mean by freezing taking a photograph a still photography is freezing in time okay correct so so suddenly so so this whole thing is moving like this but suddenly you take a photograph let's say in this very position okay so that headache of t changing goes away and let us try to analyze this wave fine so so the wave is like this and it is not traveling here why because we have put t equal to 0 so that the wave is frozen in time it is frozen in time okay now now try to analyze so so what happens i have e x is equal to e naught sin k z okay it is sin k z hmm? now you can very well understand that if this whole thing changes by 2 pi hmm, then the sine wave will complete one cycle no correct what is the how do i draw sine theta if you change from 0 to 2 pi one cycle is gone one cycle is completed so what happens 
in in or if kz is equal to 2 pi 1 full cycle of the sinusoidal wave is complete correct one full wave is complete correct <coughs> hold on so that means when z is equal to that is that is when z is equal to z is equal to 2 pi upon k one full cycle is complete no when kz is equal to 2 pi one full thing is complete i am talking about z because my axis represents z and not kz so that means this is 2 pi upon k this is pi upon k do we get that now z is equal to this value will represent the wavelength what is the wavelength that space after which the wave starts getting repeated that minimum space right or that minimum part of the wave in terms of length which when when kept saved and the rest of the wave is deleted then the rest of the wave can be regenerated by pasting one wave one wave wave cycle after the other is it that is it that so yes so, uh, wave number is the number of waves just 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 that 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 will become clear so so just try to understand this first why? why? Why am I emphasizing it back, the thing that you had already studied in class 9th? Because there is a hell lot of confusion between frequency and wavelength. You'll suddenly get stuck. Okay? I, I'll show you what happens actually. Now, <coughs> so we understand, so we understand what I'm saying. So, so one cycle is complete and one cycle is complete till here. So the wavelength is? So this becomes my wavelength, no? This length becomes the wavelength, is it not? That length of the wave which when saved with you and the rest of the wave is deleted so that that minimum length you can also take two cycles but that minimum length that should be preserved with you so that the whole wave can be regenerated by pasting it one after another is the wavelength okay therefore therefore I say Lambda is equal to 2 pi upon k. Correct. Now try to understand one more thing. If, if one wavelength can be accommodate, accommodated in 2 pi upon k, how many wavelengths can be accommodated in 2 pi? Unitary method. Since 2 pi upon k length accommodates one cycle. Therefore, one length, one unit length obviously accommodates 1 divided by 2 pi k which is k by 2 pi cycle. Hence, 2 pi length accommodates k upon 
टू पाई इन टू टू पाई विच इज के साइकिल्स ओके के साइकिल्स यू अंडरस्टैंड ना वॉट डज दैट मीन वॉट डज दैट मीन इट मीन्स दैट वॉट एवर इज दिस के that many cycles can be accommodated between 0 and 2 pi and it is no wonder that it is known as wave number okay therefore k indicates the number of cycles that can be accommodated between 0 to 2 pi between 0 to 2 pi why why do we take Two pi is the normal, na? No? See, two pi is is the normal thing. So what happens when you introduce a factor k? That between that two pi, zero to two pi, where you were accommodating only one wave, for for a function like y is equal to sine theta, now you are able to accommodate k numbers. Everything else is a repetition. Why? Because the fundamental fundamental wavelength of a sine function is 2 pi that's why so so we we try to understand in that term that in when, when it is y is equal to sin x say y is equal to sin theta or y is equal to sin x whatever you can say between this there'll be 2 pi 2 pi number of waves while doing our trigonometry we have we have plotted the graph for y is equal to sin x or y is equal to cos x or y is equal to tan x we have never taken y is equal to tan 2x but now if you do that you have to do nothing you just understand whatever was your period of any wave you just accommodate 2 in that if it is sin 2x or cos 2x or tan 2x cot 2x cosec 2x sec 2x cot 2x anything if it is 5 you accommodate 5 where you were wherever you were accommodating one cycle you just accommodate k cycles and k can be less than 1 k can be less than 1 it can be more than 1 it can be less than 1 also so if k is half that means if i ask you to plot sin sin theta upon 2 you know that you know that half hmm? if 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 y is equal to that uh, y is equal to sin theta is that what is y is equal to sin theta upon 2 so here wave number is half so in one cycle where you were accommodating one uh, it, from 0 to 2 pi where you were accommodating one full cycle you will now be accommodating only half cycle yes and the next will be something like this perfectly symmetric correct This is, this is y is equal to sine theta by two. Hmm? Y is equal to sine two theta. Will have two 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 wave cycles. This is sine two theta. the green one so taking the reference of 0 to 2 pi becomes simpler for us you understand you take one simple wave and then then you can you can have all these you you need not even look at you cannot even tabulate it you are not required to even even tabulate it you do not need that so 
सो इट इज नो वंडर दैट योर के इज कॉल्ड के इज कॉल्ड द वेव नंबर बिकॉज नाउ इट एक्चुअली स्टार्ट डिनोटिंग द नंबर ऑफ वेव बिटवीन जीरो एंड टू पाई बट आई अगेन क्वेश्चन यू दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्पेशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विद स्पेस लेंथ वाइज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द रेपिटेशन आफ्टर a particular length has been moved okay you were asking from where did k come right see k gives us flexibility to to tell how many numbers are there because because if i say there is no k allowed then this wave becomes fixed like that okay now i'd like to have a flexibility with respect to the wavelength and with respect to the frequency correct with respect to the wavelength and with respect to the frequency now this gives me the flexibility with respect to the to the wavelength okay this gives me flexibility with respect to the wavelength you understand that that's why k has come in in the first place understand now we'll go on to what frequency is though it is a concept that is being taught over and over again in in this kind of situation what frequency is is normally normally gets confused fine okay thus k is called wave number i am coming to frequency so so i again reemphasize i reemphasize that that the spatial distribution how the waves distributed in space that determines the wavelength it is length okay okay this is a length okay wave length is is that length after which the whole thing starts getting repeated and as i told you in the beginning that there are two variables here if i start varying both of them you will not be able to understand about any of them so when i was concentrating exclusively on its length i switched off time i stopped the wave otherwise this wave was moving like this okay so before you start any measurement the wave would have shifted so i froze the wave in time by taking a snapshot and then calculated the and then calculated the wave number correct the 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 uh, wavelength fine 